going to make a furnace strap. So what you'll need is one water bucket, tea, about three TNTs, not 64, it depends how much you want it to be, one furnace, redstone, not redstone repeaters, you don't need redstone repeaters at all. Alright, redstone torch and your favorite block. So, first step, place a furnace, that's all. Alright, now they one left or right. I will prefer left because it's more easy to configure. Take one there. Uh, just break one down. Break more blocks down. You can take it as long as you want to create a waterfall type. Place, place the water. And you'll see the water currently flows over here. And when you break this, the water won't come here. But you have to remember, never place a... When you're making the TNG trap, don't put this over here. Or it will cause the water to stay flowing there and not come over here. Alright, so dig three down, place a redstone torch, redstone, place redstone, on the upper block right next to a redstone, place redstone torch. And due to this redstone torch powering this redstone, it will stop this, actually let me turn on the volume. It will turn off the red, it will stop the power from the upper one redstone torch. Place a redstone right there and surround it by T and K. Alright, it will be like that and you're done. Alright, so one warning that I want to give you guys. A lot of people you will try to troll them by putting chests over here, actually. And that isn't right because you can see that it's a troll and you're trolling them by a furnace trap and there's a redstone torch down there which can cause anything to happen so what you have to do is get a full block like any plank even crafting table will work because it's a full block let me show you you cannot see it well if you use a crafting table it looks better because crafting table and furnace suits and whatever you want you can even put a chest up, up over it and now just cover this whole place up and remember that when he's cooking all right let's see what happened when we cook slash clear all right so let's grab some coal and let's grab some diamond ore oh we get diamond not diamond ores all right when you do that the water will flow over down over there which will cause the tn to blow up and boom there it goes so that was all the thing which happened was, alright, I will have to get those furnace again, water bucket, and I'll write some torches I have. Alright, so first, the water only had one way, to, one way to flow, and the idea of the furnace was normally 061, 0061, and that's why the water didn't move and stand static over there, and then it came over here. But, oh, wait. Is there a hole down there? There gotta be. Weird, but still. Alright, so, lot, right. Now if you put something in there, just let me grab some... What do I grab? Alright, let's grab some food. Let's go to the food section. Oh, this food stuff, raw beef. Alright. Put the coal in there, and due to the ID change, it will cause the water to go down there and when the water will go down there the redstone torch which is over here which powers this redstone and it is getting deactivated by that it will come down it will block this then will cause to destroy all both of these and this redstone torch will power the, all the TNT around it so that, that was all and let's do our final one alright Due to the cooking, I think it will explode right when I put this. Alright, so I will just cover this up with the TNT. And just break this one. Alright, there it goes. It broke. This one gets powered. And look. There goes the TNT rock. That was a more big one. Because I placed some TNTs around it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more redstone tutorials and yeah, survival game episode will be coming soon. Thank you guys for watching.